ECW Stone Cold. And here we are, Orlando, Florida. Brave Hearts, what up? SmackDown is the place to be. I'm Agent A beside Agent K. And this man had some fiery words for the masses earlier. So it turns out he doesn't like me. Who would have ever guessed that? I guess the, the, the Knicks must be winning the, the finals this season. The way people are acting. Neither here nor there, Miss Biondi to his left. And there. What kind of Kilgore looks like he has a new attitude to him. Is that a can of beer? What the heck? Well, I, listen. He's straight edge. He claims he's straight edge. I'm not sure. That's he's taking beer. a few. He's not. He's, but, 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 but point is, just out in front of everybody, declare he is definitely. Hey, look, if you're heading in Stone Cold territory, Sandman territory, I guess he really got to start looking out for this bastard. Huh? Well, listen, it could just be Kenneth Kilgore showing TJ what he can't do legally yet, which is drink. Um, and Kilgore says that his, his greatest weapon was his, his, voice. his voice and his words. Well, he, he's holding a damn candlestick right now, so I, I think the candlestick might outclass his voice there. Well, TJ being the wrestling god he is, he can, he can dispose of the candlestick. He can, he can hit him with a nice ultra instinct and be over with it. And that's what they're getting tired of He's see. consuming the booze of Orlando. Florida, like a proud individual. Orlando, Florida, raining down the hatred on the five star classic with that Sandman shirt. You know, the Terminator. This is this is what this this thing has been all about. Kenneth Kilgore has sworn up and down the hallways that he is a wrestling atheist to the aforementioned TJ's wrestling god, and Kilgore believes that he, he can he can. Kilgore believes that TJ is deceiving. The AWF people, whether or not I agree with that, is not what I'm here to just well, on this Kendall, broadcast. Vinny would probably be in the same tree. This man is in a he's a wrestler, yeah. But he's a fighter, is what he is. Hey Trust me, there's nothing holy about Vincenzo. The only thing actually the only thing holy about Vincenzo is the holy beatdown that he gives whoever he sets into the ring with. The Kilgore may not be any different if he's not careful tonight. And both Tickle USA, Kilgore, Mamba Ant all trading words to Decepticons in the play. Mamba Ant and Blitz are set to face each other one on one for the World Heavyweight Championship in less than two weeks. And that the all that hasn't been decided yet paperwork wise. But listen, controversy is screwing up at just the right time or the wrong time. Anybody involved with that situation? Well, Vincenzo is here to put the brakes and the halts to Kenneth Kilgore, who swears up and down that he's in that ring. Better, you know, that's where he belongs. He's been to do better, better, better. You better bark up the tree that you were talking. You better not come back from suspension and get your ass beat, motherfucker. Oh, there you go. And speaking of Bart, he mentions that he's out of the doghouse 15 days. He was suspended. Took my job for 15 days. Didn't you like getting around the arenas and getting to know the... God the, bless you, Miss Biondi. Didn't you like interviewing Miss Biondi at times? Listen. For the, for the... I'm trained to be a broadcaster. I'm trained to be an announcer. To call the action right down the middle as you see... Kilgore drop a knee right on the stern number of Vincenzo. Kilgore looking like he hasn't missed a step in this 15 days. Doing a nice job. Look at that. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa. Did you, did, I heard that loud and clear from whoever that was. That lady's got some pipes. What's going and on? Kenneth Kilgore, he, he's searching for her. She just stood up. The lady stood. And she's cheering right in front of Kilgore's face. Kilgore ignoring... The individual back into the ring with Vincenzo. Oh! Into, a, into a spear of his. Nice. Criticizing TJ and doing the same shit. Well, okay. listen. Kilgore doesn't need to do anything to that woman. Lay hands on her or, you know, I may, that may be an extreme. But listen. Kilgore's wife. Oh. Hits Vincenzo. Fiance, excuse me. Up. Oh! Is very capable of doing that herself. She's, well, look, she's, she's, I'm sure she's not just a talker, ladies and gentlemen. I heard she's a fighter too. Look, I'm sure we can get Charmel to the King Booker, but for now, he just she just he just slapped Vinny, ran the other way. She told him it's Biondi. 
He's being Look smart. at you having words with your manager. He's being smart. Fight, mother He's getting advice. There's a reason why she's a manager. She's not just there. But when Mamba Ant did it with the Pebble way back when, when they were when he, and against Cena, and, and Listen, one. Listen, here's the thing. Two. Oh, that was close. Damn close. The Pebble was a bit of a chatterbox. God rest her soul. She loved to talk to Ant's opponents. Kilgore right there was just talking to Miss Beyond D. And here. Oh, oh nice, nice uppercut. That was a beautiful strike by Kilgore. Oh, it looks like Liu Kang when he does that. Back on the offensive. And Vincenzo is the one that looks like he is in some danger at the moment. Kill Kenneth Kilgore, top. Oh, hey, nice, nice splash. splash. Kilgore keeping it simple with the, the black trunks and boots. In that promo earlier, he said he's going back to his roots. He's driving his Harley, no more diamonds and silk sheets. We're going to see how that holds up. You know Kilgore is a glutton Flashy. for those things. Flashy man indeed. He'll be, he'll be wearing a cape by end of days. That's undoubted. Nice knee drop. And Vincenzo out quickly out of the ring. Smartly. Kenneth Kilgore in the ring and he's serving to the crowd with loose. Vincent, the show oh, just started. Look the at show Kilgore. just started. Okay. A little bit of sign language for the Orlando faithful. And here, waiting for the man to get in the ring. Here comes Vincenzo at four. Incoming. Oh, oh my God. Big ass clothesline. And Kilgore just hops right up. back up. Side headlock takedown. And that is the wrestling machine we all know and love. That's how Kilgore made his foot, put his foot in the door. And you see a, a camel clutch wrenching it back. Is he going to tap Vincenzo out here? You know, the old management of Miss, not to say the only old management, because Mr. Ant still owns the company. But let's just say. Five, he, he, he was limited in Kilgore trying to do a super, uh, superhero attire stuff with a five moves of doom. And ever since, Kilgore has taken off the cape in more ways than one. And Vincenzo running him into the... Oh, oh my God! Lil, he Lil nice. has not been getting the offense we know him for. Kenneth has had a response for everything, and I have to say... Damn, that had be. He's a jackass. As they said, the five-star jackass. That's why he's the best... He's the best jackass in the game. Oh, my God. Sweeper hold. Sweeper hold locked in and a jawbreaker from Vincenzo. Oh, wow. That was that was almost very, it. Very in it. Good, good. Oh, Kilgore. that was almost it. Went for the F-125. Right hand of Kenneth Kilgore. Vinny Mack sending the five-star classic Terminator off the ropes. K-1000 running him with an elbow. <clears throat> trying to get him right there. Slows him down. Seeing that you try to pop up something but Kilgore. Listen. Trying to grab hold. <laughs> These two men spent time in the ring together. They spent time on the road together. Although they they are not fond of each other, which is a, a massive understatement, they have been friends. They know each other's personnel and their repertoire. You know, talk oh, about it, repertoire. The F, one, this two, looks five. Bad. And Kilgore escapes. Sleeper hold. Sleeper hold to Vincenzo. Sleeper hold to Vincenzo. He's got that big boa constrictor arm wrapped across oh the neck. Oh, my. God! And Kenneth Kilgore has just slept the dawn. I'm lost. I think everyone and their mothers might have expected otherwise. Well, Kilgore did mention that he hasn't been feeling like himself. That was the most Kilgore thing I've seen in quite a while. And uh, what I will say is Vincenzo was almost there. Kilgore won this one by the skin of his teeth. Had Vincenzo hit that F-125, <laughs> listen. Look at him. He would've got a, Kilgore would've got a he good shot at the lights. Look at him. He's hurt. He's gonna get passed up and get a pep talk with Miss Biondi. You know, listen, personally, if I was, what's the lady's name, Marissa? I wouldn't have my significant other getting talked to by a blonde for my pep talk semi before. We have more SmackDown up next.